solidarity with refugees across Europe and this is the first of a series of such actions which will be occurring over the course of this year. And we all know what's going on on the other side of that rail line over there. People will be travelling today through St. Pancras across to France and on the other side there are thousands of people living in dire conditions who have an absolute right to move here, to live here in safety, to claim asylum in this country and they should be granted a safe passage and free movement to, in order to be able to do so. We've had 100,000 people march through London last year, one of the biggest, the biggest demonstrations ever we've had in favour of migration and refugees and in solidarity with people facing those struggles and we need to move that movement forward. This year, those struggles are going to continue. On the one hand, we'll have racists and we'll have, the, we'll have the European powers looking to intensify the fortress, looking to build more fences, looking to sink more boats of people desperately trying to escape war and, and all sorts of other evils of capitalism. We need to start moving the argument forward and say we're going to, we want to stop this border system. We want to demand that David Cameron open the border now, bring people in, that he charters, charters vessels to go to Dunkirk and pick people up who are living there in an absolute desperate situation in a makeshift refugee camp with, with 3,000 people there living knees up to mud. And the only re response that they've had from the French authorities is a siege blocking aid blocking supplies coming in. While all this is going on, our government's had a disgraceful position, standing there doing absolutely nothing about it, and actually sending money to build more fences in Calais, when we should be picking people up in boats, in trains. Welcome here. Say it, come on, say it, say it. Refugees are welcome here. Say it, come on, say it, come on. Refugees are welcome here. Thank you all for coming down here today. I think it's clear that the police have been expecting us because there are many uniformed and ununiformed officers all over these two stations and it's difficult for us to get inside today. But what we will do very quickly is have a couple of words from a few speakers who've come here today. And first of those is going to be Bridget Chapman from Kent Anti-Racist Network, who's here uh, to show solidarity with us um, with, in favour of in, in, with refugees, and she's also going to be announcing something that's coming up in Dover uh, next week, in, in a couple of weeks. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. I've come from Folkestone today. I live on the Kent coast to offer you solidarity. During the First World War, people were displaced like they always are when there is war. And Folkestone, as a town, when the population was just 40,000, took in 100,000 people in just one month. That's one town of 40,000 taking in 100,000 people in just one month. We did it because it was the right thing to do. If we could do it then, we can do it now. This is disgraceful. I don't know how much... Okay, so I'm Bridget Chapman and I'm from the Kent Anti-Racism Network. I'm here today to support this action because I live in Folkestone. At night I can see the lights of Calais across the channel. They're close enough almost to touch and it's bitterly cold at the moment and I, it breaks my heart to think that we are treating people, our neighbours, just a few miles away in the way that we are treating the people in the Calais camps. We need to do the right thing and allow them to come to the place of safety that they've chosen, which is the UK. At the moment, I'm ashamed of my government, and that's the message that I want to send out today. I want to tell them they need to do the right thing. Um, I'd also like to tell people about the 30th of January, when the Nazis, and I mean Nazis, are planning to march in Dover, which is a town about four miles away from where I live. It's about the fifth time they've marched in a year. Um, for them, Dover occupies a particular place. It's a real important national demo for them because they see Dover as being the place where you defend against the invader, the White Cliffs of Dover, Vera Lynn, and they are latching onto the issue of the truckers and twisting that to spread a message of hate. And we are planning a big counter demonstration. We want thousands of people on the street to tell the Nazis that they are not welcome in our town, they're not welcome in any town, their message of hate is not welcome, but refugees are very welcome. Refugees are welcome here.
because people are literally dying out there. They're starving. And if it weren't for the volunteers that would come there and help them, they would actually die. And in fact, many people are dying now. More than 26 people have died this year in their attempt to cross the border from Calais. That includes children. That includes one unborn baby that died uh, when his mother tried to cross. These borders are killing people. And David Cameron and Theresa May, they're killing people. That's something we can't accept. It would be so easy for them to settle things. What's happening now, and which is why we have called an emergency die-in, is that the French government is forcefully relocating people, which sounds good because it sounds like they're being brought into safe shelter. But what's actually happening is that they're being brought into detention centers, which are worse than prisons. These are containers where 15 people are kept in one container, they don't have to write their own property, but all their basic human rights are being violated, and they're being forced to apply for asylum in France. These people have legitimate asylum places, so claims for living in the UK. They have close family, they're unaccompanied, hundreds of unaccompanied minors will have the right to live here in the UK safely. It's David Cameron and Theresa May's policy to ban them. That's something that must be challenged now. And I thank you all for coming. This is not going to be the end of it.